Hi, welcome to second part of the video. In the first video, we have generated the result. Now we analyze the result. Uh, in that you have seen there, there is one message. You can see the result in your email. Now email is there. You can see it looked like this. There are the two options. Either directly we can bookmark the link below or we can uh, analyze or check the result with the help of this uh, website. I prefer to use this website because this, this one is very authentic. They have the two options. One is a code and other is a password. So it will be the secured one. Nobody else will check your result as it, it will open with the help of password only that I just I just put. Now I share my result with you. In the free time, if you want to see or analyze the this result, what you can do? You can use, please take out one notebook and pen. You can write down this PDB code and the password. Try to explore the, this result also. I have no issue. You can explore it. Find here, just find. And in the password, we need to paste this password, which I have rec received in my email. Yeah, either you can obtain your own result. Now you can see this one, uh, even they have mentioned this is a private PDB sum page. No doubt it is a free of cost. Please student do try it. Whatever the thing available is as a free of cost, do explore it and add the result in your result sheet. Now, firstly, we'll see uh, co-crystal with their interaction. Now, this look like this. look like this right here is a this one is a co-crystal e2020 fine now oh sorry we'll check again here is a pdb code and here i need to put the password to go yeah we need to see the interaction Do you have any idea about the pie mole? If you do not have idea, I'll tell you that also. That is also free of the cost. Please try to explore and download the freeware software. If you are undergrad student, this is the best time to explore the free of cost thing. Uh, because if you are uh, if you are expert enough to use the free of cost software, you are blessed, you know, because you can write any paper with the help of this thing. Yeah. Yeah, you can see this is a ligand interaction diagram, which I'm just, uh, I don't know, that is the reason in the first video, I don't want to tell what we are supposed to obtain. It would be the surprise for you guys. You can see, without doing any kind of studies, I just upload the PDB there, and he's a, uh, and there are the important amino acids that are supposed to interact with co-crystal. Now, what would be our approach to design or synthesize the new compound, we have to target these amino acids. If our drug, they are going to attract with these amino acids, it means it is supposed to be effective. Like what nowadays people are doing. Nowadays, they are targeting the enzyme first. If in the hypothetical study, ligand show the interaction, we need to uh, proceed their synthesis. Otherwise, no need to do the synthesis of that. That is the first approach. Fine. Now you can, uh, I have told you, you can write the result in your thesis also, in your paper also. Fine. This is a uh, very beautiful picture. You can include the same picture in your thesis, in your publication. And it is accepted one because guys, this is free of cost. Nobody will ask like when we uh, upload any paper to the any website, if we use uh, like a trial version of any software, we need to mention the license version. We need to mention their permission for the free viewer free access software or the web server or the website, we are not supposed to mention anything. It is a free of cost. Please use it. It is very effective. Okay. You can see here, even for the write-up purpose, if you want to write up about these link plot in your thesis, you can check their interaction study. 
from this list of protein ligand interaction. You can see here it's mentioned protein ligand interaction, non-bonding contacts. These are the amino acid, active amino acid, active amino acid of the protein and and the uh, like uh, binding contacts of the co-crystal. Fine. Even you can see there are the different atoms. C18. C18 is a different carbon number. Uh, carbon is present at 19, 17. Everything is mentioned there. We can beautifully write the paper also with that. If you want to have any kind of guidance for the writing of this in silico paper, do mention the comment box. I am very happy to tell you about how you can proceed to write uh, in silico papers, especially in silico paper. No doubt, I am also good enough to do synthesis and to write up the synth uh, synthetic paper. But uh, if you are sitting at a home, if you are a homemaker, still you do not have a time to go to the lab, you can, in the meantime, you can utilize your energy here to write up the paper in this manner. Fine. There are the, uh, this is for that. Even we can obtain their mole version. You can see this is a download version. In the next video, I'll tell you how you can do, uh, do this. Do the interaction with this mole version. I have do downloaded every version in the next video. I'm, I will tell you about this. Everything which I downloaded. One thing I'll show you right now and next would be the surprise surprise for the next video be because i need to have a contact for the next one also fine till now stay tuned to my channel and don't forget to like and share the video if you want to see these all different version of the leak plot and if you want to utilize your information for writing up the paper or writing a thesis to manage do uh, subscribe and like the channel and don't forget to like and share the video. Happy learning. Stay tuned to my channel. Thank you so much.